one very interesting thing to do on Nantucket is to come to Five Maya Comet Ave, where Mark Enoch and his auction takes place. Seems like I've been doing it forever. We've done over 400 auctions on Nantucket Island and we more or less started as a lark and what started as a lark and started as uh, something fun to do in the winter time turned out to be quite the event and we've done over 400 auctions on Nantucket Island. We have the auctions 12 months a year. I used to do about um, 8 or 10 auctions a month. It is missing the clasp on the back. We have had our auctions on uh, Friday evenings. It seems to be <clears throat> the time of the week in which people want to go out and have a little bit of enjoyment. And a large part of what we do is offer people entertainment. We try to be entertaining. We try to give them some enjoyment as they're actually here at the auction and uh, buying things as well. Way in the back, 225 anywhere. Are you done to the lady at $200? We're looking for 225 Last call, sold number 118. Our next auction is a week from tonight. And our retail shop is open 10 to 4 tomorrow, 12 to 4 on Sunday, and 10 to 4 on Monday, and there's right there. And we're like, to be off on the next item. The excitement is building here. Um, quite a few folks here. Rugs, household items, fine furniture, antiques, uh, collectibles. Just some fantastic things. 50 is that correct, sir? Now 175. 150 is that correct, sir? Now 175. Let's call. Can I talk to you? Sure. What's your name? Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi. You didn't get it, huh? No. What was it that you wanted? I didn't want it. I'm bidding for other people. Oh, you're bidding for yeah. other people. Oh, I see. Oh, and they. Oh, I see. Then they 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 left their bids with. Right. Oh, with the, all of us. What do they have? A book here that you can look through for this auction, this particular. It's over there. Yep. Oh, well, that's great. That's convenient, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. So who are you who are you bidding for? Uh, anyone who calls in or fills out a sheet oh, oh, you work for Mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. These are silent. They silent. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. And what channel is this going to be on? Channel HBO. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the routine for someone who just enters the auction and wants to be a part of it? How do how do they uh, go about? They come in here and they fill out a form with their name and address, and they get a plate, which is their bidding card, and um, then they just sit down and enjoy. The show. Okay. All right. Um, what what kind of price range are we talking about here at the uh, the auction? I mean, uh, they, items go from twenty five dollars up to I think so far we've had sixteen thousand tonight. Really tonight sixteen thousand. What was that for? It was a painting. Really? Wow. Purchased by somebody that lives on the island, which is kind of nice, too. Wow, so you can find anything in between, any kind of range, oh, yeah. whatever your price range might be. And, and you have a pre-auction, too, or not a pre-auction, but they preview. call it yeah, the preview. Yeah, people can come in and look at the items and check them out, see if they like them. Okay, well, thank you very much, Brett. What we have here are just a few examples of some of the many items that we auction here at Island Antiques and Auction House. Here we have a Targa Maple graduated five draw chest on frame. It's 18th century. Targa Maple, as I mentioned, the case is obviously dovetailed. Um, the frame is in the Dunlap school style and it's a rather handsome piece of furniture. And an interesting thing on this and just one of the many interesting things is quite the inscription on the bottom and it mentions uh, um, the substantial provenance that the chair has and it mentions the various family members by name and who it was handed down to, who it was then handed down to and it's really uh, uh, got a lot of uh, history here and it's a really fascinating and interesting piece of furniture. 
Next item we have here is this uh, English Hepplewhite side chair. It's a shield back. It's got um, some nice uh, carving in the back. The Upholstery needs to be reconditioned, but when you're dealing with uh, fine antiques, upholstery is a secondary issue, and uh, that will be a lovely re, uh, reupholstery job on that chair. This is a uh, late 18th, early 19th century tilt-top table. As you can see, this tilts right up and locks. This was sold Friday um, evening. It was sold to a dealer from, um, I think he was from Delaware. He had left quite a few bids on some items. And uh, he bought this uh, by the telephone. We had a lot of telephone bidding on Friday evening. Probably had uh, 30 or 40 different uh, phone bidders. It's an English, uh, 19th century English fern stand with some inlay. And the piece that I almost knocked over is a late 18th, early 19th century bed warmer with pierced brass. And it's got the handle so you don't burn your hands on it. And um, we've got quite a few items here. It's, uh, it's a Heppel White chest of drawers in maple. This is a ship model. Am I going too fast? No. <laughs> it's a ship model. It's uh, dedicated uh, from the Sperry family, who were the original uh, uh, individuals who had invented the Sperry top cider boat shoe. And um, this was from them. It was a dedication uh, ship model, which uh, is of the flying cloud. And uh, it's a 19th century uh, Staffordshire figurines. And, Teapot. This is an interesting little uh, rocking chair. This was in a museum in the Boston area for many years, and I don't know who uh, got the idea to make a rocking chair out of it, but uh, it's uh, unfortunate that they did because this is really a very, very handsome chair, uh, and it shows traces of its uh, original paint. This is an interesting item, and again, if I'm going too fast, just let me know. This is a very large, looks to be, well, close to 40 inches in width. And uh, this is made on Nantucket by uh, William Severin's uh, Associates. And I asked uh, Bill, he was in here the other night, I said, Bill, did you make this? He said, no. He said, the Associates did. Uh, but it is made here in the island. It's a wonderful basket. It's got great size and a lot of potential to it. I'd say the only thing that it, maybe it lacks is the ability to put a strap on it and walk around uh, downtown using uh, we may be offering uh, this particular cane here this coming Friday, and we're really looking forward to our Friday night auction. Then uh, that will be um, August 9th, 6 p.m. Our preview is uh, 4 to 6 p.m. here at uh, Island Antiques, 5 Maya Common Avenue, and that's just right off Surfside Road. Um, we're in the phone book, 325-5852, and uh, we're hoping to have some real fun this Friday. Well, thank you very much, Mark. It was a pleasure, pleasure and we'll see you Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.